Good morning, everyone. Welcome to 2023 Incarnation Daily Devotion. I'm Pastor CJ. May God's peace be with you, and may the Word of God work in you today. March 6th, Monday. Philippians chapter 3, verse 12. Not that I have already obtained all this, or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Amen. The Bible promises that when we believe in Jesus, he will start the process of transformation to make us like him. In a sense, that happens completely in an instant. But as every Jesus follower knows, the change takes a lifetime. This process needs some new space to breathe in your life. Think of it like a scrapbook for your soul. You can't be more like Jesus if you're spending your days staring at all the pictures of who you used to be. One way to find space comes during a season called Lent, which is the 40 days leading up to Easter. The theme of Lent is denying yourself something in order to focus more on Jesus. Maybe it's chocolate or the Xbox, shopping or lattes. Whatever it is, the purpose of Lent is quitting something to make space for Jesus. There might not be a natural connection between giving up chocolate and being transformed, but it's often exactly what happens. The urge to enjoy the thing we gave up reminds us why we gave it up in the first place. We won't be new creations if we're clutching the things that are yesterday's news. Here's the fix. Quit something today. Make some space in your life. I've never met anybody who made space in their life and started knocking off liquor stores. You might not know what will fill its place, but you will come across beautiful opportunities when you have the space to engage them. You don't have to wait until Easter to give something up. You don't need a season called Lent. Just do it because it's Monday. We all get one of those every week. Quit something today and then wait with expectation for God to show up and surprise you tomorrow. Let's pray. God, let us be new creations. Let us accept the changes. Let us quit something today and focus more onto your love and grace starting today. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining this morning, and I hope to meet you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.